Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, today we will discuss about gas chromatography interview questions and answers. What is gas chromatography? Gas chromatography is an analytical technique used to separate and analyze volatile compounds in a mixture. It is commonly employed in pharmaceutical industries to ensure the purity, potency, and stability of drug products. What are the main components of a gas chromatograph? The main components are carrier gas, example, helium, nitrogen, injector, column, packed or capillary, oven, detector, example, FID, TCD, data system. What types of detectors are commonly used in GC for pharmaceutical analysis? Flame ionization detector, thermal conductivity detector, electron capture detector, mass spectrometer. Why is GC used in the pharmaceutical industry? GC is used for determination of residual solvents, purity testing, analysis of active pharmaceutical ingredients, identification of degradation products. What is the principle of gas chromatography? GC separates components based on their volatility and interaction with the stationary phase in the column. Components with higher volatility elute faster than less volatile compounds. What is a carrier gas, and how is it chosen? Carrier gas is an inert gas, example, helium, nitrogen, that transports the sample through the column. Selection depends on detector type, separation efficiency. Compatibility with the sample, what is the difference between packed and capillary columns? Packed column, filled with solid stationary phase, used for large sample volumes, capillary column hollow with a thin stationary phase layer, used for high-resolution separations. What is retention time? Retention time is the time a compound takes to travel through the column and reach the detector. It is unique for each compound under specific conditions. What is resolution in GC, and how is it calculated? Resolution measures the separation efficiency of two peaks in a chromatogram. It is calculated as R equals 2, TR2 minus TR1, W1, W2, R equals frac 2, T underscore, R2, T underscore, R1, W underscore 1, W underscore 2, where TR, T underscore, R is retention time and WW is the peak width. How do you optimize GC separation? By adjusting carrier gas flow rate, column temperature. Oven program, stationary phase properties, injection volume, what are residual solvents, and how are they analyzed by GC? Residual solvents are organic volatile chemicals left during drug production. GC with FID or headspace analysis is commonly used to quantify them. What is headspace GC? Headspace GC analyzes volatile compounds in the gas phase above a liquid or solid sample. It is useful for residual solvent testing. What is temperature programming in GC? Temperature programming involves gradually increasing the oven temperature during a run to improve separation of compounds with varying volatilities. What is split and splitless injection? Split injection. Only a portion of the sample enters the column, suitable for high concentration samples. Splitless injection. Entire sample enters the column, used for trace analysis. What is column bleed, and how is it? Minimized, column bleed is the release of stationary phase material at high temperatures. It can be minimized by using high quality columns and maintaining proper temperature limits. How do you validate a GC method in pharma? By assessing specificity, linearity, accuracy, precision, detection, and quantitation limits, robustness, what is a calibration curve? And why is it used? A calibration curve plots detector response versus known analyte concentrations. It ensures accurate quantitation of unknown samples. What is system suitability testing in GC? System suitability testing ensures that the GC system performs adequately before sample analysis. Parameters include resolution, tailing factor, and theoretical plates. What causes peak tailing, and how can it be resolved? Causes include poor column conditioning, 
overloading the column, strong interaction with the stationary phase, solutions, use proper sample preparation, optimize injection volume, or replace the column, how is GCMS used in the pharmaceutical industry? GCMS combines the separation power of GC with the identification capabilities of mass spectrometry, enabling structural elucidation and trace level analysis, what could cause a loss of resolution in GC, column contamination, inappropriate flow rate, incorrect temperature program, what causes baseline noise in a chromatogram, detector instability, contaminated carrier gas, electronic interference. Why might a peak not appear in the chromatogram, sample not injected properly, detector malfunction, low analyte concentration, what are ghost peaks, ghost peaks are unexpected peaks in the chromatogram, caused by contamination or residual compounds in the injector or column, how do you address column overloading, reduce sample injection volume, use a column with higher capacity, what guidelines apply to GC analysis in pharma, ICHQ2, R1, for method validation, USP for chromatography. What is trace level analysis, and why is it important? Trace level analysis detects very low concentrations of impurities, ensuring drug safety and regulatory compliance. What are pharmacopoeial methods in GC? Standardized methods outlined in pharmacopoeias, e.g., USP, EP, for testing residual solvents, impurities, etc. How do you choose the stationary phase for GC, based on the analyte's polarity and volatility? Polar columns for polar compounds and nonpolar columns for nonpolar compounds. What is derivatization in GC, a process to modify analytes chemically, improving their volatility or detectability? What are common carrier gas flow rates in GC? typically 1 to 2 ml slash min for capillary columns. What is the role of the GC oven, maintains and controls the temperature to influence analyte separation, how do you ensure reproducibility in GC results, regular calibration, consistent sample preparation, following validated methods, describe a challenging GC troubleshooting scenario you faced, provide a specific example relevant to experience. How do you stay updated on regulatory changes in chromatography, through pharmacopoeias, conferences, and journals like Journal of Chromatography? What is peak symmetry, and why is it important? Peak symmetry indicates the quality of separation. Asymmetrical peaks can indicate issues like column overloading or contamination. What is column efficiency? A measure of the column's ability to separate compounds, often quantified by theoretical plate number, how does detector sensitivity affect GC analysis, higher sensitivity allows detection of low concentration analytes, critical for trace analysis, what is linear velocity in GC, the speed at which the carrier gas travels through the column, what are the advantages of capillary columns over packed columns, higher resolution, shorter analysis time, better sensitivity, thank you for watching.